What's up guys, Brian here and I'm back again with another awesome video. I know what it feels like to spend hours color grading an image to perfection on your laptop or at least that's what you think. But when you transfer it to your phone or any phone at all, it looks like sh**. Nothing close to what it looked like on your laptop display. I know what this feels like because I was passing through the same stores for like forever before I got my recent laptop. So today I'll be showing you guys how to get amazing color grade even if your laptop display sucks. So stick to the end of this video to see all of it. Now if you are new to this channel, click the subscribe button and ring the bell just next to it so you don't miss out on more awesome videos in the future. With that said, let's roll the intro and get this thing started already. <laughs> The solution I have for you guys for this is to copy the picture to your phone and do the color grading on your phone using Adobe Lightroom Mobile or any other app you are comfortable with. Wait before you click away, let me explain. Phones generally have better display panels than laptops, so they tend to display colors better than laptops that are way more expensive. Aside that, a very high percentage of people viewing your pictures do it on their smartphones, so if it looks good on your display, it will likely look good on theirs too. Now here is the cool part, I have a friend that has been using this technique to get amazing color grade on his pictures and he accepted my offer to show you guys how he does his color grading on his phone using Adobe Lightroom Mobile, the free version. He retouches on his laptop and color grades on his phone. His brand name is Code Black Imagery and I'll leave a link to his IG in the description box of this video so you can go check him out and give him a follow. With that said, let's switch over to him for the rest of the video. Hi, I'm Code Black and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can color grade your images on your mobile phone using the Adobe Lightroom mobile app. The photo or image we're going to be using for this tutorial is an image I took at the coffee shop and basically I wanted it to have brown tones and everything and I'm going to show you how I achieved all this on the... Uh, on my mobile phone using the Adobe Lightroom mobile app. So without further ado, let's get into editing. So before then, I'll show you the before of this image, which is this, and this is after. So I'm going to be resetting this from the beginning, so we could start from the beginning. So to make this video a little bit shorter, I'm going to, I'm not going to be talking all through. So most times it will be just action, it will be just action and you would see the values each value i use it would be displayed above around this around this point this central point so most times my voice would act as though i'm not speaking but i'm actually working so for color grading my images i'll just uh, tell you about like the pre color grading process so i try to identify the colors in the image first of all before knowing what to do so we have our green, we have yellow, we have uh, a little bit of aqua, we have a little bit of purple, we have orange and red which is prominent on almost every image that's like basically the skin tone or the skin color. So but before I dive into color, I start editing an image by balancing the lights. So straight to light and let's go. I want the image to be quite contrasty so I'm going to be quite fast here so you would see the how each slider affects its image okay this goes use 20 i'm quite a perfectionist so i like using uh, rounded off values so instead of using 12 i'll use 15 instead of using 7 i'll use 10 or 5 something like that so yeah, like grounded of values. Okay, let's use eighty five for this. So the colors are faded out, and let's okay, pop this one a little bit. And let's make the blacks more vibrant. So, yeah, we have before and after. So I've been able to balance the light and just give giving the image a little bit of vibrance and all that. But that's not all I do in the lights. I I, I, I usually play with the curve. Uh, I usually play with the curve graph to add fade to my image. I just love fading 
my image i don't do that all the time though but most times i fade my image so this is the fade curve i normally use i don't know how i stumble across it but this is the fade curve i normally use to school for me so after we've been able to balance our life from this to this i go ahead to color grading in total or in essence so So the orange and red sliders actually affect the skin tone so you can see how this affects it but then it also affects her pants so what I try to do is find a common value that balances out the, her skin and the color of her pants too. Okay so 15 is quite a good value then make it quite bright a little bit let's add some luminance great so in the yellows now the yellow slider effects you could like get green or yellow off the slider so basically i don't like greens for this image so i'll tend towards the yellow more and you could just blank it out to 100 and you could increase the saturation so let's say 70 70 is perfect and we could increase the luminance a little bit so since i said i don't like greens out also be dropping down the saturation of greens you can see where the greens are let's just drop down the saturation to about 50 great so in as much as i don't want the green color to be in the image i would still like it to have like prominence in the image so i'll give it a little bit of luminance boost let's say 75 great so we don't have much of aqua we just have aqua on her wristwatch so you can say aqua just on her wristwatch there's not much to do here and also let's leave that 10 10 great so we don't have much blue here except the light part is above here so there are no much blues for this no blue blue speaking too many wrong grammars right now okay let's just increase the saturation a little bit okay and that's that we don't okay we have a little bit of purple on the couch you can see so we could just say we had 20 i'm not a fan of purple so let's get it out so done we are done with color grading this image but it still doesn't look like what i showed you earlier on which was like the finished work so after i've done all this what i try to do is try out some of the preloaded profiles that uh, is provided on adobe lightroom you can see monochrome yeah several profiles and these profiles are very invaluable assets to me because most times they set uh, my color grading tones in motion so we just try most of them out for this image i used this one looks like this one looks cool but for this image i used artistic 5 which basically gives me warm pictures so this was the profile i used and let's see Let's use level 55 great so this was the profile I used you could try whatever one you want to use I think I'm liking more than seven right now so you could use any of them we use more than seven we could use artistic five so there you have it this is how 
I color graded this image on my phone using the Adobe Lightroom mobile app. So we used we used we first we balanced our lights, balanced our lights, then we did some fading with the curve, then we went over to the mix and played with the color sliders and we went to the profiles and we selected the suitable one and bam we got this image so this is how we got from here to here using our lightroom mobile app thank you very much for watching so that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a thumbs up click on the subscribe button and ring the bell because if you don't ring the bell you may not get notified of my feature updates so always remember to ring the bell and leave a comment down there in the comment section see you guys in the next video